So before Zombies Chronicles was released to the public, we got a bunch of gameplay from YouTubers that went out to LA to capture footage at Treyarch early for all of the maps, and one of those maps was Origins, a fan favorite no doubt, but one of the biggest things that everybody loved off of Origins was the staves, and to which one of those was changed around a little bit, which caused a little bit of confusion and some crazy ideas being formed that perhaps there was another Easter egg tied to this, some sort of alternate Easter egg or something like that, and in which the Staff of Ice was actually called the Staff of Water. And now even what further fueled this speculation was the fact that NoahJ456 mentioned that he had asked Jason Blundell about this point blank, why is it called the Staff of Water and not the Staff of Ice? To which Jason didn't really give a specific answer, but more so was like, yeah, about that. Well, sadly, this isn't anything that really leads to this now because further examination of the staff in the Black Ops 2 game files has actually given some clarity as to why this may in fact have shown up as the staff of water at the early access capture event, but not now in Zombies Chronicles whenever you go on and play on Origins itself. Simply put, the console code name for this was actually the Staff of Water, and it was something that it stuck then there throughout in the development, though on the surface, it is the Staff of Ice. The console code name designation for this was the Staff of Water. So if you were to go up and search this within the game code, or at least so I'm told, you'd end up finding the asset called Staff of Water, not Staff of Ice. So therefore, the build was based off of that, and though Origins and the rest of Zombies Chronicles has basically been built from the ground up, that doesn't mean that a lot of these assets aren't used and the base code has not been ported over as such. So with that said, though on the surface and the visualizations of it, it is built from the ground up and very well may have a lot of this reworked in the modeling departments, the code itself is still relatively the same. So therefore, this entire commotion before the launch of Zombies Chronicles and then kind of that fizzled out once release happened and we saw that it was the Staff of Ice, but there's still some questions about it out there. This essentially puts it to rest. It's not anything that hints towards another Easter egg, an alternate Easter egg within Origins that may completely change the timeline that we know of thus far, but rather it's just something that got through the cracks in the game build that they played out in LA, and this is something that happens all the time. Even on some of the early access builds that I've played whenever I've gone to capture events, there are things that aren't supposed to be there, but end up being there in the build that we play, but they don't actually make it into the final cut of that version that goes out. For example, there could be something that doesn't come out in the game for, say, another month or so that's on that early access build that is available to these people that play the game, and whether or not they actually see the stuff in there whenever they go snooping around, or if not, it could be on that build, but then the DLC that goes live doesn't actually include that next build content on there. So something like that where the build itself is a little bit more open, there's a little bit more chance for some error here and there in terms of that. So as say the Staff of Water gets showcased, stuff like that is more confined and then refined and retuned by the time it goes live. So that whole more open package that you're perhaps playing at the actual studio is something that's more condensed and more confined into just just that DLC content that's going live, and it's something that's fixed up and spruced up at that point. So therefore, this little air quote Easter egg was probably nothing more so than just a little minor code glitch in which it showcased the Staff of Water rather than the Staff of Ice. And clearly by now, we see that it does say the Staff of Ice now in Zombies Chronicles, and it's something that is back to normal, and there's no questions about it. So that's just the simple explanation here. I know a lot of people have been asking me in that in the comments recently as well, because I still have a video that's getting a decent amount of views that being the origins five things that changed that happened before the release of zombies chronicles and a lot of people are pointing out to why is this called the staff of water so thought this would be a nice little explanation video here for this because it is something that is now more publicly known i guess since the game files are accessible within black ops 2's version of origins and it just matches up here with this little oddity that we had before the launch of Zombies Chronicles. And additionally, that oddity is something that I personally have seen firsthand that these developer early builds do have some glitches in the system here that might show up as such. So that said, that's gonna wrap it up. Just wanna give you guys a brief little explanation here on this one if you guys did not know and were curious as to why it was called the Staff of Water at first, but now is back to the Staff of Ice. It's not an extra Easter egg or anything like that. So sadly, we can't get our hopes up just yet for that. But all that said and out of the way, that's gonna wrap it up. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it would have been awesome to see another Easter egg in Origins or do you not necessarily care all that much and you kind of figured it would be something like this as is? Love your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe.
subscribe to stay up to date with everything regarding Zombies Chronicles, Call of Duty Zombies, Black Ops 3 Multiplayer, Modern Warfare Mastered, Call of Duty World War 2, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But I'll see you dudes later, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, my name is Video Call Espresso, take care, and peace.